we're here in Kildare for the 2018 edition of the Goffs Land Rover sale. For the fifth year in succession, the Goffs Land Rover sale was the leading store sale at the Cheltenham Festival and also leading store sale at the Punchestown Festival. The likes of Altior, Fahim, Sam Crow, the storyteller, and Tornado Flyer, to name but a few, were winners at both festivals this year. It all bodes well for an exciting 2018 Goffs Land Rover sale. 226 is a beautiful gelding by Flemingsfirth from Ballin Curry House. Yes, he's out of his sister to masterminded. You know, he's always going to be an expensive horse. He's a real nice model. I'd been to see him six weeks ago with Paul Barber. We came over and had a look and we saw him. We liked him then. And um, you know, just seeing some of the trade early in the day, it's fairly obvious he was going to be top lot or very near to it. At 325,000 last time. On top, thank you very much indeed. 325 buys. Well done. A lot of interest for the, over the last sort of six weeks, and uh, um, there's a part of me actually didn't want to sell the horse. But um, once you start start talking about those sort of numbers, you've got to be sensible. And um, uh, we did have a very high reserve on him, um, but he has exceeded the reserve at 170,000 last time. The list of viewings was as long as your arm. We were confident he'd sell well, but definitely nowhere near where he fell um, at 170. That was a huge price for him. I think everybody will tell you it's the best bunch of horses ever that we've ever seen in this sale. I think that you know, the size and scope, there's just a lot of really nice horses to spread around. You then think, good, there's something for everybody here and there won't be such a fight for the, for the big boys. But it's been, it's been a very strong trade all the way through and, and very few things seem to slip through the net. 81 is next, yes. 81 Oak Tree Farm. Ah, here's a cracking son of Saddler Maker. He really is the part, ladies and gentlemen. We've been very, very lucky here, but I usually try and bring a good horse here. Um, they're very good to me here. This fella ticked every box for everyone, so it was great, yeah. He goes at 235,000. All done to Michaela's bid at 235,000. I'm oh, sure he was just a gorgeous horse by a, a super stallion uh, who, you know, his record speaks for himself and, um, uh, you know, lovely dam line. So just he, he, he ticked all the boxes and delighted to get him. They have beautiful animals here. Before I ever got to see the horses at all, my preparation of the catalogue, I had 168 to look at on the first day from their pedigrees and stallions alone. So they must have put a lot of work into making sure they had the pedigrees along with the horses. Years ago there would have been a stigma, everyone thought it was just a sharp little bumper type horse from here. It's definitely not that case now. At 210, old Donovan is in. Here we go. At 210,000 euro and... Aidan Murphy, thank you sir, on the telephone. 210,000 buys. Nice horse. Full brother to a good horse. Um, he's going to be trained by Ollie, hopefully, and go from there. Lots of individuals there for the best. And the middle market to the top is there's more than one buyer for every horse. The quality this year here has been better than ever um, and it can only help for future years because we're going to come here with bigger and better orders and you know I always find it's a great sale to bring owners to as well. And the very first horse to be bought here was Holy Well and that time we were ready to buy him for seven and a half grand store and he, he turned out to be a really good horse and the world's end he went on to win a grade one in entry last year over hurdles and uh, top of the game came out of here, he was bought and so did Paul Nichols, he was second in the Coral Cup when he touched off this year, so it's been a very lucky place for us, yeah. We were coming here now for the last 10 or 11 years, I've never seen a catalogue like it. The amount of real top quality horse that was here was unbelievable. They've done real well to get the consigners to send the real good horses here. And we move on from one amazing pedigree to another. Great result for the farm now, you know, he was, he was a lovely horse and he showed well every time and it's a great price, we're delighted. We were kind of hoping he might make half of it. We were hopeful that everyone was interested and we had a lot of, lot of people coming back a second time to look at it, but we'd never thought he'd make that kind of money. At 230,000, all done. Anthony Bromley for High Flyer, thank you very much indeed, sir. 230,000 buys. When I saw him on Monday and I said, this is nearly the nicest store I've ever seen in my life, which takes a bit of believing, but um, he was just stunning. I thought he was a great walker. He came from a great nursery down in Cork. And Nicky was absolutely amazed that we got him on occasion. And he was so thrilled to have a horse of that standard. At 190,000, the Jeremy goes. At 190,000, it goes right this time. Hammers up. At 190 against you, cross the bit is right. At 190,000 euro and. 
High Flyer, David Minton, thank you, sir. I think the standard has been quite astounding. I mean, it's the best sale standard-wise I've ever seen. A serious bunch of lovely, lovely horses. And we were in and out of the ring like yo-yos. I mean, it was unbelievable. Rarely do you see a trade like that. It was, it was strong, it was deep. Uh, we smashed the record three times. We broke it early on, we broke it again, and then absolutely blew it out of the water with a wonderful top price. €325,000 paid by Paul Nichols. It's the highest price store at any store sale since 2011, and two others breaking last year's record. The Gosland of a sale was the most successful store sale at the Cheltenham Festival. Everyone wants to win at Cheltenham. It is the pinnacle. And for the last five years, the Land River sale has been the most successful sale. When they opened the catalogue, they saw this was something quite special. Our vendors have really stepped up to the mark. We can't do anything without the vendors, and they've sent us quite simply the best group of horses we've ever had. It's certainly a grade one store sale now. It's a sale full of potential champion hoodle horses, uh, potential gold cup horses, and of course champion chasers like our cover horse Altior. And when you've got horses like Altior and Sam Crow, then you know what you're going to get. And I think this crop will be as good as any.